The final tip for today takes us into the terrain modeling tools. So that's the DTM application, again, loading as we did before. So we'll see under our DTM tools, we have some nice uh, tools here for generating 3D models of site. Just going back to our, our drawing and just going back to the layer display, we'll look at the contours here. Just select all, we can see the contours there on our plan. So I'm just going to select those contours just to make the drawing a little bit simplified. So it's giving me a warning that we're actually not on the an active layer that's going to be shown. So I'll just change that there. But we see we have our levels listed with bits of text. So these are bits of M text. We have our polylines for our contour. Incidentally, uh, if you don't have uh, a polyline, you only have lines, that can very quickly be remedied. So if we just explode that, you'll see this is all individual lines now. If we wish to make that back into a polyline, there are tools within the selection and so on that we can just pick Pick our, our line there, so we'll just select just the lines, so filtering down, drilling down on the object properties, right click, and then make polyline. So we've, we've got ourselves a polyline there. And if we now use the 2D contour and auto, we can do the scope there. It says, what's the search radius? Well. We're, we're pretty close, I don't, 10 is, uh, we're working in meters here, so if I say 2, and then we look at our drawing in three dimensions, we can see that we've actually, well, Caddy has actually raised those up for, we'll just do a regen on there, we can see that it's actually raised them up. So we can either use the shift key and the left click button on the mouse, or the, the middle key to, to rock it, or if you get a 3D view, you also have the constrained orbit there, so you can just uh, manipulate it in that way uh, with enter or escape, giving us the uh, fixing of the, the view. If we want to go back to top view, back onto top. So now we have that. Of course, if we want to turn that into a 3D model, we'll need to do a little bit more work on it. And we have the ability within Caddy's tools to do that too. So here we can use the contours to points tool for drawing those points automatically all along the contours. Uh, we can export those to a file if we want. We're going to just do a rectangle here. Uh, we can say the minimum distance, so it'll be one meter in this case. I uh, will just zoom back a little here, drag our rectangle around. It tells us that 10 contours, 179 points, 179 points. Do I wish to continue? Yes, I do. So there are all my points. And having got my, my points, of course, the next thing to do is to triangulate those. So we're going to just drag our rectangle, selection rectangle over, and we can see that it's joined all of those points up to create a triangular irregular network. So there we are. So we have our, our 3D surface, which we can then section as we wish. Going back to uh, top view, we could maybe then produce our site sections, for instance, taking a section through, right click, option end, write the, the text heights on there if we wish. So it's telling us the reference level is 105, so we put in a, a reference of say 100. And there we are. There is our, our site section through. And just examining our text, that's maybe a little a little tall for our, our section there, so we could update that section and just choose to update the heights or any of the other options within the dialog there. So that gives us a text which is much more suitable for our site section. So there we are, some very quick tips, five killer tips on how to make setting out and dimensioning much easier with Caddy. Keep watching for more tips.